Hey Guitar Champion, Justin Hombach here, back from my practice game and welcome to this episode of Lesson of the Month. In today's lesson we're going to take a look at the nice and little cool arpeggio link I have for you with which you can improve your string skipping and your sweep technique. I created a little etude with this uh, arpeggio link and you can use this arpeggio link as well to play over chord changes, chord progressions or some solo backing track. But before, let me play the lick slow and then we're going to jump right into the lesson. Tabs are provided for you in the description box and now the lick slow, the etude slow, so let's begin. The main sequence, the main arpeggio goes like this. And what I'm doing in the etude, I'm just moving this pattern around the string and doing some variations, all depending on what chord we are at this moment. So, the first chord and the first bar is E minor and this is an E minor arpeggio, starting on the fifth. The 16th strings on the uh, the 16th fret on the G string, pulling to the third 12th fret on the G string, playing the 14th fret on the D string, the root, back to the third, and picking the fifth again 16th fret on the G string. Then we have the string skip on the E string, where we're playing 12th fret on the E string. I do this with an upstroke. Then I play the 15th fret on the E string and pulling back off to the root the 12th fret on the B string. So 5th, 3rd, root, 3rd, 5th, root, 3rd, 3rd, uh, root. And then we are moving to the next inversion of the E minor arpeggio and we are sweeping this pattern descending to the D string. So we have pull off then sweep, sweep, sweep. It's 19th fret, 15th fret, 17th fret, 16th fret, 17th fret again. Then I'm sweeping ascending from the 19th fret on the A string, 17th fret on the D string, and 16th fret on the G string. Well, I sweep up to the D string and down from the A string some people preferring sweeping up to the A string and then down the D and the G string. That's totally fine. If you like this version better, then go for it. I'm using the other one. Just try it out and try to figure out which version is best for your playing and best for you and best for your sweeping. Okay, after that we are going to G major and we are just, as I said, moving this pattern to G, so we're starting on the 5th of the G, which is the 5th of the G, it's a D. So we have the 19th fret on the G string. Now we only have to transform the minor 3rd into the major 3rd, though we have to um, put them one fret up. 19th fret is the 5th, then 16th fret the major 3rd, root on the 17th fret, back to the 3rd and the 5th. <laughs> then comes the string skip with the uh, 15th fret on the E string and we have... <laughs> Who has recognized this? Ah, don't matter. Um, so yeah. 15th fret on the E string, 19th fret on the E string the 3rd, pulling back to the 15th fret. And then we are sliding to the second inversion. 
button sweeping it back. Up and down. Now we are in A major and we are playing the first uh, bar, the string skipping bar. So it was the same pattern like G major, so we are transforming it two, two uh, frets up. But now we are going not higher, we are going not into the 24th fret because my washed fingers, like we said in Germany, my sausage fingers, we, uh, it's, it's not comfortable in this high fret. So I go down the neck to this inversion. Starting on the 17th fret on the E string, pull off to the 12th fret, root to the 5th, 3rd, 14th fret, root 14th fret, 5th, 14th fret, um, play that 14th fret on the G string, the B string, and the B string, the G string, and the D string with your middle finger and do that kind of roll type of technique. And then with our pinky, we are playing the 3rd, the, on the seventh, uh, 16th fret on the A string. And sweeping back up to the root. Then comes another bar of A major and here we are playing this section just an octave lower and on the string set lower. So we are playing it starting on the D string, not on the G string, on the D string, 14th fret and here it's the same shape but only on the D string, on the A string and on the B string. Fourteens, eleven, twelve, eleven, fourteen, ten, fourteen, ten. After that we have this kind of line. Now this is not really an arpeggio, this is a scale run and the scale is Mixolydian flat six. Ooh, not talk. Mixolydian flat six is the fifth mode of melodic minor, in this case D melodic minor. Yeah! First we have this pedal note kind of melody. We are playing the third of the A, pulling to the root, then the second, pulling back to the root, then we are going on the seventh, twelfth string on the G string, the flat six, the fifth, the four, the third, and back to the four. After that it repeats all along. up to this point, because then the scale run to the second part is a bit different. We are still in Mixolydian flat 6, but we are not moving back to the third. We are going to the four, back to the fifth, and then we are playing the flat 6. And now we are on the second part, which is in D minor. So the second part starts in D minor and we are taking the E minor arpeggio sequence from the first part, the first bar, and just playing it two frets lower. Okay, after D minor we are playing A minor but on the string set below, so again on the D string, the A string on the, and on the B string. And the shape goes like this. Remember the A major shape on those string set? It's basically the same shape but again with the minor third instead of the major third. So the 11th fret on the A uh, on the D string is transforming to the 10th fret and the uh, 14th fret on the B string is going to the 13th fret. After that comes again a bit sweeping action. This time it's a bit different, the shape, the sweeping shape. We're starting on the fifth and then pulling again to the third, sweeping G string, sweeping D string, sweeping A string, but we're not going on the E string, we are pulling in the A string to the 12th fret, to the root, hammering back to the 15th fret and going to the fifth from the A minor, the 14th fret on the D string. Then we are playing B flat major, same shape, same pattern as in the A minor bar, but everything one bar up to the B major. B flat major, sorry. Okay. 
Here again for the sweeping action, use your index finger and the roll technique. Otherwise we have this kind of sound. Doesn't sound so good with a distortion sound. So, use the roll technique to get it clean. Now we have two chords in one bar. The first one is F major and we are playing our usual string skipping shape. So we have 17th fret, 14th fret, 15, 14, 17, 13 and 17 again. And then we are playing E flat major with this shape. Third goes to the root, fifth as a string skip on the G string, back to the root, back to the fifth, pulling off to the third and the root back again. So the E flat major is the tritone substitution for A7. Ooh, now talk again. The tritone substitution for A7 which resolves into D minor and at this point we are repeating the chord progression from part two. Up to this point and instead of the E flat major arpeggio we are playing the E major arpeggio but with the same pattern. So 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 13, 14, 13 and this functions as a dominant to A minor and this is the chord we are resolving into. So this was today's lesson of the month. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked the link. Use the link, play with it, be creative with it. There are so much you can, you can get out of those kind of links. If you like the lesson and if you like this link in particular, I'm always happy with people who are giving thumbs up or who will leave a like in the comment, sec comment section or follow me on Facebook, Instagram or leave a subscribe on YouTube. So now it's time for me to get back into my practice cave and practice the hell out of the next lick of the month. I hope I'm going to see you there again. So, see you there and have a nice day.